Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Previously, 
And even as I arrived, I was surprised time and time again, and most of them were good surprises. This church really is a vibrant living example of being a reflection of the light of Christ back to the world. We serve the community around us through our outreach. We serve the community around us through our formation, through our worship. We serve this community around us through our pastoral care for one another and our neighbors. And it is a tremendous blessing, surprised by joy to feel a part of such a profound movement of God's love and grace in the world. Not all of the surprises were good. You know, I, I got here and I said, you know, the HVAC system's not really that new. <laughs> and they said, you know, that uh, building in the upper parking lot, they said, there's a reason we didn't show you that during the tour. <laughs> we should do something about that sooner rather than later. And those fears emerge again, even as I have been surprised by joy in my calling. And it's been a joy to watch as the vestry uh, joins me in these needs and desires because we have a desire to make sure that this church is continually reborn in God's image. That we continue to pursue ministry and share in God's love and grace in as many ways as possible. To connect with the community around us that they might experience God's grace and love that has formed us in our hearts and our desire to serve others. Vestry and I have worked together to, to create a capital campaign that begins this Easter. And it begins this Easter because we hope that this church continually is reborn. That we are surprised by the joy of Easter and also maybe just a little bit scared. And it's okay to admit that to one another. Because it's in admitting it to one another that we come together to overcome the scared and live into the joy a little bit more. I don't want to carry on about the particulars of the campaign too much in an Easter sermon. I have, uh, I have some brochures that the vestry will be handing out after the service as a way of sharing some more information about it. And there will be more information emerging throughout this Easter season. But then on this Easter Sunday when we celebrate the resurrected Lord, I'll remind you that Easter Sunday is the beginning of a great season of Easter. Fifty days of Easter where the church recalls how the resurrected Lord appeared before the disciples time and time again. And the resurrected Lord appeared with a particular mission in his heart to remind them of all that they had witnessed and experienced in the Lord's presence as they ministered beside him. All of the things that they had learned as Jesus sought to fulfill the law and make God's love known to the world. And the resurrected Lord appeared before the disciples to make sure that they remembered that as he prepared to make his ascension to the Father, the work became theirs. The work of celebrating the miracles and joys of the resurrected Lord are ours still to celebrate. We fill this house of God's this day with shouts of Alleluia in remembrance of Christ's great triumph over death and leading us towards a new way of life that is sustained through love and grace. May we spend these 50 days of Easter contemplating which gifts God is calling us to stand forward with as we seek rebirth in Christ. Amen. <laughs>